Okay, Problem in Gaming, I'm going to show you the Ghost of Kiev um, model. It, um, the Ukrainian um, forces, um, Air Force, neither deny or accept this happened. Um, I don't think they're going to deny it, you know, so to say, because it would destabilize morale, but they don't want to accept that that happened because, you know... Uh, Putin would, um, you know, probably do something even worse than what he's been doing. Um, this is a bill that exists. There has still been debates whether the ghost of Kiev really exists. Can it, can it be one person or the whole team? Some believe he died and many say he ejected or maybe it's just an inspiring story however there's a, a mig 29 9 13 what that didn't make sense okay this is uh, made in ukraine i see him holding oh burp. i can't pronounce that no oh, their phone number interesting an email and their website uh, 14 up, and um, this set comes with 82 plastic pieces of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Okay, and this is made in Ukraine. Um, all right, it didn't come with a minifigure, you know, with a, a figure, but that's fine. Um, here's the instructions. There's the verb again. It's in Ukrainian and English, and uh, some of the languages are in French, but mostly it's just English and Ukrainian. All right, here it is. Uh, one, you build that, two, that, paint that, paint it, all that, and this. And here's the decals. The decals had over 50 decals. It had like over 100 because you could uh, pick whatever number you wanted. I picked number 19 because I was just on it. All right, let's go to the model itself. I weathered this model because I wanted to make it look realistic, like it survived a few sorties where they weathered. Um, uh, oil leaking out of the engines, being pushed beyond its design limits. Um, some right there and there, going through, uh, flat clouds and surviving flat cannons and stuff. And, um, there it is, there's no pilot inside, but that's fine. You could just say it's an AI-powered jet, so it just flies on its own. It has six missiles, um, that's... That's the uh, Soviet uh, equivalent to a Sidewinder. That's a, a medium range air to ground missile. That's a long range air to ground missile. Long range air to ground missile. Uh, medium range air to ground missile. And that's the equivalent of a Sidewinder. Um, yeah. And then those are the missiles. And look, as you can see, I made it look really weathered there. Um, it's like weathered. And. Yeah, this is my first model that I weathered. I hope you enjoy what I did. Here's the nose. It's kind of weathered. Weathering going on. And yeah, this was a um, good model. Uh, it's a little bit uh, challenging if you're a, a beginner modeler. Because um, the decals were really hard to put on. Me, I've been making models for a long time. And yeah, as one uh, YouTuber said... Um, their channel, they said that, uh, modeling is a lost art. That's kind of tr It is an art, and it shouldn't be lost, because look, look at the time I did in this. Yeah, I wanted to weather it to make it look realistic. Other models, you can paint whatever you want. It doesn't have to look like the box. I wanted to make it kind of like an eagle, like, you know, uh, um, like a hawk that has, like, a white head, and then I weathered it, so... Yeah, I built this for peace because I hope that Ukraine one day will have peace and be kind of like Canada. You can just walk and not have to worry about anything. And yeah, this looks like a survived a sortie. Um, there's the nav light right there. Green and red nav lights there and there. And yeah, and I weathered uh, the this. Um, how I weathered it was I used uh, water and acrylic paint, and I put water on it. I put 50% water, 
20% acrylic and then I used some some parts I used like 25% acrylic and um yeah I want to make it look like it survived a few shorties and then this part I put like uh 50 to uh percent and so it to or the cannon um was fired after it, after it uh ran out of missiles and then it landed and got off and then all these vents are leaking out some oil and other stuff and yeah with the mig 29 the um you know that those two things uh can they close up because you can land on a damaged battlefield and the engines won't suck in the debris and yeah and i weathered the uh tires a bit because it landed to re the rearm with missiles it resurprised i meant to say resupplied with the missiles and yeah this was a fun model i started it back in um the long weekend in september the first long weekend well where i live in canada um we have two long weekends. Uh, the first long weekend's obviously a Labor Day weekend. So yeah, um, I started it then and I finished it uh, last night, Monday night, the 22nd of September. And I meant the 23rd of September, yeah. And yeah, and I weathered the, uh, I tried weathering and I did some panel lining uh, where the, you know, the flaps and ailerons and stuff and flap rounds and yeah, well, hope you enjoyed this. Solve me for now. It's kind of making me shining off piece here at the right time. And <laughs> Ghost God Drent. <laughs> hey, this jet looks very old. No, it is not. It may not look very flashy, but she'll get you there. Oh, who pushed these engines? I thought there was some maintenance on it. Yeah, it survived. Uh, the engines were pushed beyond its design limits, so the oil started leaking out. Uh, it needs to be re-oiled and uh, refueled, and should be good as new. And inside the cockpit, it's okay. It has a, a first-generation fly-by-wire computer system. Uh, with some advanced AI stuff. We're gonna I'll try to update the a the uh, fly-by-wire system to the latest generation. Here it is. Fourth gen fighter jet. Ghost squadron. The Ukrainian forces. Elebrum. For peace. And this jet's all weathered. Mm.